Alrighty, so we go to find the x and y intercepts and then graph the equation, right? So I've got a little graph. Here is my x axis, my y axis. This is the equation. So the way we do that is we make a little table for x and y. And we just start out by plugging 0 in for x and then figure out what y is, right? So if I plug 0 in for x, I'll get 4 times 0 minus 2y equals 8, right? So that's just, you know, 0 minus 2y equals 8, right? Or just negative 2y equals 8. And so then to get y on its own, divide by negative 2. And y equals negative 4, right? So when x is 0 in this equation, y is negative 4. And now we have one point on the line. So plot that point and where is it? Yeah, so x is 0 is here and y is negative 4 down here. That's the point there. 0, negative 4. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug 0 in for y and figure out what x is. Um, so we'll get 4x minus 2 times 0 equals 8. Or 4x minus 0 equals 8, or just 4x equals 8. Then divide by 4, and x equals 2. So we have this point, 2, 0. Now where is that on the graph? Or on the grid? Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, x is 2 and y is 0. So that's that point there. 2, 0. So then we could just draw a line through the points. Yeah, so once we draw a line through the points, that's our answer. So that's the equation of the line uh, 4x minus 2y equals 8. Now, one of these points is called the x-intercept, and one of them is called the y-intercept. Which is which? Yeah. Yeah. This point here is the x-intercept because it, it, it's where the line intercepts or touches the x-axis. Good. This point is called the y-intercept because it's where the line intercepts or touches the y-axis. Yep, and it's as simple as that. Good job.